I've prepared a sales order, so let's look at the make to order workflow and how serial numbers can be tracked automatically from a manufacturing order to a sales order. From here, what I'd like to do is I'd like to pick make, make to order, and this is going to produce a manufacturing order that's directly connected to the sales order. Clicking into that, we can see the sales order looks, or the manufacturing order looks almost identical to the previous one with the exception of now we're linked directly to a sales order. I'd like to take a moment to jump over to our stock screen and show how we can track the serial numbers and see what's going on with each one. Let's open up our serial number tab and you can see the previous four serial numbers that were produced in our original make to stock manufacturing order process. And now we can see the last one that we just produced. You'll notice here we have an in stock status column. Right now, none are in stock because we've shipped these four out. You can see the associated sales orders that they were shipped out with, the manufacturing orders that are producing these serial numbers, and the date they were produced. So in this last example, you can see we have a manufacturing order, but it's not yet in stock. So let's go into that manufacturing order complete it, and then jump over into the sales order and see how it looks. We'll go ahead and mark this one as done. And let's jump over into the sales order page. Now that the sales order is updated, you'll notice we have a green check saying that the tracing data is complete. If I scroll down a little bit, you'll also notice a little drop down arrow. Clicking on that will open up an example of the serial number that is used in this sales order. From here, if I jump back into my stock page and we go into serial numbers, you'll notice it looks a little different because now we have that SO-14 serial number is in stock but it's already allocated to this sales order number. When we go in and we mark this as shipped, we will then change the status. This will deduct one from inventory, marking that new inventory column in stock as no, for it is no longer in stock. So that's an example of how a make to order workflow can be used with serial numbers. Next, let's start looking at the stock screen, the serial number screen, and start looking at stock adjustments and stock transfers. Thank you and talk to you soon.